Hey guys, so today we will be implementing semi-auto fire. It's something I kind of forgot to implement, but can be a little bit important. It's nice to have for things like snipers, shotguns, uh, just like this. I hold the right click in the chat and you can see it says shoot burst, but then it will not go again until I release and click it again. Uh, so that's the semi-auto we'll be implementing today. It still will work like normal when you set the semi-auto score to zero, then it will just shoot and burst continuously or continues to shoot if you don't have bursting. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so yesterday we developed a tag-based input method, but we're actually going to change that today, and some of the structure is going to be a little bit different, uh, just because it'll be easier to do this uh, right-click hold detection if you're in a scoreboard system rather than a tag system. So the first thing we're going to do is add some new scoreboards. So let's just copy this line inside the init function and add a scoreboard called right click. I know we're going to start massing up scoreboards pretty quickly, but eventually we'll start cooling down. <laughs> the initial videos, we're going to have quite a few scoreboards, but eventually we're going to stop making new scoreboards and using old ones for things. So we need two scoreboards, right click and right click one. Right click is going to hold what in this tick, did you right click? Right click one is going to hold in the last tick, did you right click? Okay, so what we'll do for here inside the right click function is do scoreboard players set at s right click one. So this is just always going to set right click to one. And uh, we'll have to mess with our main function a little bit later to fix some of this stuff. So let's go into the main player. This is ran for every player, every tick. And instead we will do if score at s right click matches one. Okay, uh, and then inside the shoot function, we'll have to have a new function that is a specific shoot. And that's just because uh, we did not check for the cooldown when we applied the score. But we don't want to check for the cooldown when we apply the score because uh, that makes the detecting of the previous click a little bit harder. So inside here, we're going to just copy all this and we're going to paste this here. It's already here. Cool. Uh, now what we can do is we can remove this. Okay. This is applying the stats. So this only happens when you actually shoot. This is going to be other stuff. <laughs> so first we're going to do execute if score dot semi dash auto stats matches one or matches zero. Let's do the normal case. Then if score at s cooldown matches Oh, and let's change it from if score. Now we can do unless score because it just makes sense here. Uh, and this will mean that people that don't have a score at all will still work. Uh, then run function gun colon shoot slash actually shoot. Okay. And then let's copy this. If your semi auto is one, then we need to check our previous right click score. So if score at s right click from the previous tick matches zero. So that means the tick right before the one that we clicked, we didn't click, then we can shoot. So these are our two cases. And now to ensure that logic of the previous tick and whatnot, we're going to do scoreboard players and it needs to be outside here so that it applies regardless of whether right click is one or zero. So scoreboard players operation at s right click one equals at s right click. And then we're going to do scoreboard players set at s right click zero. Okay, so what this is going to do is when the player right clicks, they're going to get a score, it is going to try to shoot. And let's assume they didn't right click before. Uh, so it will successfully shoot, then it will say that your previous tick was the one that just happened. And your previous tick was yes, you did click so it will be one, and then we will set it to zero. Then in the next tick, if the player doesn't right click, all these commands will not do anything. This one will copy the zero that we set down here It will copy the zero onto the previous tick. And now you reset so you can click again. Now if you did hold it down, it will copy it'll apply a one, and it will copy a one again. So then this will be one and this will be one. Okay, so let's type slash reload. Okay, so this is a good time to talk about debugging. So this is your debugging window. Okay, so if you look inside the debugging window, and you can pull this up, I will have a graphic on the screen right now of how to pull it up, you have to check this box in the launcher settings. 
But when you just have the arrows ticked, so you can, these are checkboxes, right? I can uncheck them. Just having errors will show you what errors you have. So it says inside shoot slash start, there's an error. Uh, I have an incorrect argument for a command at this position somewhere around the word unless where zero was started. So if I go into here, uh, if score semi-auto stats matches zero, unless score singular, not plural, and there you go. You might have seen it before <laughs> and fixed it yourself, but there was an S I added in there. Uh, okay, so I can click clear logs. Now that I know that that's fixed, type slash reload, and here we go. Shoot, burst, 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 and I'm holding right click right now, and it's not shooting again. Now I let go of right click. And I'm going to click again, and it lets me shoot again. I'm holding it, holding it, holding it, let go, and I can click again. And then I can also click and try and spam click, and it doesn't do it super fast because I have that cooldown variable. So now for snipers, this snipers are going to use semi-auto, right? And they will just have a large cooldown. Uh, okay, so that's how semi-auto works. That was kind of important. I think just it's a minor thing. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.